What is up guys? Welcome back to the vlog. We are out here at my boy Travis's house. We are back out here doing project drop top drift and trying to finish it up. Basically, this is where we got everything at so far. We got uh, the two pretty much lined up and done. We got this beautiful bar on the front, mounted up the radiator and the fans, got the power steering here on the front. Still gotta clean all the spaghetti up, but we got the front end almost done. Just gotta add two more uh, mounts to the top, add some hood pins, and that will finish that up. But, Travis has been busy since I haven't been here, gutting the inside of the car and getting it ready for the cage. So we're gonna be doing that four point up and then around. But yeah, a lot has been done, guys. I know I haven't been here to document a lot of it, but this thing's absolutely beefy and it's a beast. You can see how much, literally stand on it, how much pressure this is gonna take, so. That's a beefy front end. Gonna try to finish this up all today. So we're trying to get this tube done and then uh, I'm gonna be learning how to pipe bend and weld a little bit and we're gonna be helping out in the cage. So I'm like super excited to get all this done and wrapped up, but it's gonna be super cool in here. Like I said, we already got these head uh, bars exposed, so we're gonna probably weld to these back and then do the harness bar across. So should be pretty simple considering that those are already there. So we went ahead and we got everything stripped out. We took all the carpet out. So that leaves us a nice clean template in here to weld to. Just gotta get all of the sound deadening out because you really can't weld to that. I think that starts a fire too, don't it? I'm sure it would. Yeah, if you weld the sound deadening, so. I'm gonna scrape out what we need to scrape out. Not, it'll be really melty and smelly. Yeah, it's gonna be disgusting. Yes. But yeah, other than that, from the, with the top up, it looks like we got a little bit of room up here. What would you say, is about five, six inches of space maybe? At Four least. and a half. So we could go across the top, but the biggest thing we're trying to figure out is if, because these actually have their own uh, mounting points here, where it's technically like a two point roll bar. We're trying to see if, to pass tech, if I can keep these and just weld a bar to another two custom uh, two points down here in the floors, or if I need to go off of this and do a custom four point, which would technically make it a six point if you think about it. If it's connected to these, it'd be a six point gauge. Yeah, if we added our own four point. Yeah. yeah. So if we add a custom four point, it's gonna technically be a six point because of these stock mounts. But we're just doing whatever's gonna pass tech and whatever's just easier overall because the space in this car is very limited, especially with this vert top. But we don't know if we're gonna go back here. Let me sit in here real quick. I don't know if we're gonna go back here behind this air vent or if we're gonna follow in front of it. It's kind of what we're looking at right now. It's just a very tight fit with these door panels. Basically what we've done so far is we cut out the boxes here. Right here we've got these big uh, boxes so we can build the cage off of that. But uh, I talked to one of the guys that runs the track and he said we don't have to do a full cage. So we don't have to go down to the front. We're going to end up just doing like a half loom. Um, and then we're going to tie it into the stock roll bar because it ties in right here. So the car's got like a stock two point roll cage practically and then we're going to turn it into a four point and that'll make it so you're still going to have plenty of head space you're not going to have to worry about clearance on the doors because we're not going to even come up here we're just going to leave the cage back here so it'll be good for rolls and crap like that but again it's not a full cage so it'll be nice for daily driving it's not going to be in the way it's not going to be obnoxious but i'll still be able to take passengers and and such and i ran over to the uh store and i picked up some of these plating so it's a eight inch thick uh, six inch plates, uh, steel plates, so that way we can weld that to the floor. It's gonna be extremely strong, and this is gonna be one beefy cage. You guys remember Winston? What's up? Got the one JZ? Yep. Where's it at? Go for a ride. Oh, we gotta go see it later. There she is. She is so sexy. I love this car. I love this thing. So the front, we just have a few last things we gotta do. Like I said, we gotta f uh, fill this uh, top area with the brackets for the radiator. Um, the only thing I think we're gonna change is we're gonna take this off. We're gonna mount the power steering cooler on the back side so that way it's protected by the bash bar. And then we should have enough uh, steel since we don't have to do the full cage. I'm gonna come off and do like a V and have a jack point in the middle. So that way we can jack the car up from the front 
Uh, plus, I think it'll complete the look of the front of the scar. So that is super cool and exciting. I'm gonna end up cutting these a little back. I'm gonna probably trim them right here so that way they don't go all the way around to the wheel. It's Winston brought up a good point. If this gets bashed in, I'm worried about it popping a tire or something. So probably cut it like right there. So that's gonna look really good on the front end. But yeah, we're just trying to finish up the inside. It's What sucks is it's like 90% prep work and then it's like 10% well actually putting it all together. So we're trying to make sure that all the prep work and everything is done right so that way if the car ever is actually in a wreck it is going to do its job and you know protect me or whoever else is in the car uh, you know I, of course i want to get it done and i'm like super excited to drive it but safety's number one priority this time all right guys it is a brand new day we actually had to leave because it started raining but we are now back and while we were gone mr travis here made himself busy yes, as you can see it's done yeah. totally done look at this Look at this beautiful bar. Absolutely insane. So we got this awesome four point, what was it, like a half cage technically? Yeah, yeah, just the main hoop is what I've been calling it. So half cage and then we added a jack point on the front with the tube. So that way we have a spot we can lift up the front end. So this looks so good. We got the overflow in. The only thing left really is just to bleed all the coolant and uh, I think we got to hook the fans up and all the these. They're hooked up, they we just the wires. Yeah. I kind of just, like, yeah, when we, I was bleeding them out, I hooked them up. Yeah, so we're going to get all like these wires water. and probably just tuck them in here, hide them, and clean up the front. And then I think that is it. He put the whole interior back in, but this bar, what's awesome about it is even though it's going to protect us, it's you know going to have the harnesses built in, the actual soft top clears this 100%. So right you can put the top up, and you can keep the top down with this awesome bar in it, and you ain't got to worry about nothing. All right, guys, we got it totally finished up. We had to put everything back together, like some of the harnesses and stuff, just zip time out of the way because we do have a long drive. We bled the coolant a couple times because as you guys know, Z's are an absolute pain in the butt. They always like to get air bubbles trapped in the pipe, so they like to overheat, but we fixed it. Um, still got a ratchet strap the hood down, but when we get home, we're gonna install those two hood pins. I didn't have Travis do it just because I really don't know where I, I want them. I might even add like another setup here. I've seen some people do two on each side. So for now, we're going to just use that ratchet strap. That's very, very temporary. But yeah, I mean, other than that, the tube came out absolutely fabulous. As you can see, it's strong. We already lifted it up on the front. This thing's not going anywhere. It's super beefy. And this cage is just absolutely perfect. It fits like a dream. You got plenty of headroom. Probably end up putting like a piece of like pool noodle, like my other car right here. So that way, you know, if there's a rollover, we don't bang our head on that. But yeah, she is absolutely put back together and beautiful. So I can't thank this man enough. I'm telling you guys, business, if you want cage work or a tube chassis or something done or whatever, hit up Travis. This is his YouTube channel right here. This is his Instagram. Let him know I sent you and he will hook you up with some crazy job because this, like I'm saying, it took what, five, five days, four days? Yeah, roughly. Yeah, so under a week, under a week and we had all this done, so. If you guys need a quick job and you really want it done right and someone who actually cares and knows what they're doing, Travis is your man. Your boy. Yep. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. We're gonna get this bad boy home and we're gonna end up painting and doing some other stuff to it. I uh, still gotta get harnesses and some other things finished up on it, but we are getting closer to finally getting it ready for the track. So you guys gotta stay tuned. But until then, please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.